Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. So let's start working on our post activity. Okay, so go to the activity post.xml file. Uh, as you know that we have created the post activity in the previous few tutorials. So click text and let's first change this constant layout to the relative layout. And the next thing is in this video tutorial, first of all, we have to add a app bar layout here or you can say the navigation bar uh, not the navigation the app bar layout that is wrong let's go the moment of the other digit kaha crazy till the rush is a decent i'm a particular special rc so in this tutorial uh, we will basically add a uh, app bar layout here where there will be uh, the, the activity name that is update post and there will be a back button to the main activity to send the user to the main activity if a user click on that back uh, icon i mean uh, you can say a toggle kind of button which is uh, on the app bar layout normally i hope you guys already familiar with that so yeah let's first add the app bar layout there so all we need is to go to the text and here above we can say include sorry for that include app uh, layout and that is our app bar layout okay so you can see that this is our app bar layout which we created in the previous tutorial if you remember that is this one is our app bar layout if i show to you guys the code then this is this is the code for our app bar layout so that's why we just include this here so close this and now all we need is to give id to this layout for our post activity so we can say id android id and the id for it will be update underscore post underscore page toolbar update post page toolbar so this is the toolbar for our or you can say the app bar layout for our uh, post activity so let's come here and let's first go to the post activity now we have to include that post uh, toolbar or you can say the app bar layout on our post activity so here we can say private toolbar and let's call this m toolbar and now inside this on create method we can say m toolbar equals to toolbar find view by id or dot id dot update post patch toolbar set support action bar and now you can see that it shows an error now the many uh, one of the user comment that uh, why this error i mean he got an error here on this point that is you can see that now the reason for this error is if you come here above and you can see that there is an import click here so here you can see that we have this android.widget.tool all you need is to write here that is android.support dot support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar so make sure to write it like that and you can see that the error is gone now so that is why you guys get an error that is sometimes we forget to i mean we import basically the wrong class or you can say the wrong the wrong toolbar for our set support action bar you can say this app bar layout so make sure to write this dot support dot v7 to this so the error will be gone in this way now here we can say now here we can say the video but you can it for coming out so here we can say get support action bar dot set display home as up enabled true get support action bar dot set display 
set display show home enabled to true so the first one is home as up enabled and the second one is show home enabled and then we have to add a title to it so you can say get support action bar dot set title and the title will be update post so this one is basically for the back button so all we need is to I mean to work the back button we have to add a own option item selected method so here we can simply say on option item selected you can simply write this on on this one on options item selected and inside this method we have to here we can say int id equals to item dot get item id so if id becomes equals to android dot r dot id dot home so if the user click on that back button then we are going to send the user to the main activity so you can say send user to main activity which is the method which we create let's create this method here inside over this post activity so we can create that method and this is our method inside this we will just write a code for the intent to send the user to the main activity so we can say intent main intent equals to new intent post activity dot this and we are going to send the user to the main activity so we can say main activity dot class and then we can say start activity for the main intent so yeah let's check it how if it is working or not so our app is running now and now let's click on this add post button and you can see that it is that button is appeared here successfully now this is the back icon or you can set this back button if I click on it then it will send us to the home activity or you can say the home page or the main activity so if I click here then you can see that it looks more beautiful and it is working fine so yeah this is uh, this is it for this video and in the next video we will further work on our post activity and we will allow the user to update or add a new post. So this is it for this video and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.